Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and this is going to be another Bucket plugin tutorial on the eTeleport plugin for Bucket. Now what it is is an easy teleportation plugin that gives you some pretty cool and useful teleport commands such as TP and then player which will teleport you to a player. We have TPS which gives which will teleport a player to your position and some more. We'll be going over all of those in just a little bit. And we also have some warp commands so you can do warp forward slash warp. Warp will warp you to the warp position. You can set and remove them and get a list. There's also permission notes for everything. And I'll also be going over some of those. So getting right into it, we're going to want to go to the official download page for the plugin, which is this page. And then we're going to want to download the latest version. So I'm just going to download the jar directly from Medi Mediafire so I can start the download and keep it. I'm then going to move it to my desktop. And then I'm going to go to my server, open that up, go to my plugins and then I'm going to drop it in there and then run my server. Now after I run my server it should create a folder inside my plugins folder called eTeleport and in here there will be a config. First I'm going to stop my server and then this config. So in the config the only thing that is going to be there is warps and basically this is just a data storage config so there's nothing really you can do in there but getting right into it now I'm going to show you how the plugin works okay so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over some of the commands for this plugin so we have Trevor or DT fits in the server and I'm going to be using him as my dummy today so the first command is the simple T TP command and I could do DT and it will teleport me to his location and as you can see it has custom messages saying successfully transfer teleported to DT. We also have TPS, so if I go on over here and I want DT to come to my area, I could do TPS DT and it will teleport him to my location. I can also do TPO, so this will allow me to teleport one player to another player, so I can do this TPO and I can do something like guy to other guy and that will teleport those player guy to the other guy but the players are offline so it's obviously not going to let me do that I can also do TP coordinates so I can do TP C and then the coordinates so let's just say 0 0 0 and it will teleport me to the coordinates which I'm obviously in the ground so I'm going to die respawn and I'm going to be back to where I need to be now I can do TP world so if I do TP W and then the world name it will teleport me to that world, but the world does not exist because I don't have a world name. Next I have the TPT, so that will teleport me to the highest block in my position. So if I go under this tree, I do TPT, it will teleport me up. So that's basically the top command in Essentials. Next we have the TPOC, so that will teleport a player to a coordinate. So I do TPOC, DT. 0, 0, 0, and I've teleported him to that coordinate. Now he's probably going to die soon, and he found the world. So you know that works. And then we have some warps, so I can do this. I can set a warp by typing set, actually it's different, it's warp set, and then I'll do test, and then I can use warp for help. So actually, I think I typed it in the wrong. Warp. So I can do Oh, okay, that's what I forgot. Warp. If you do forward slash warp, you will get the help page. You can do warp to show the help menu, warp name to go to that warp, remove, and set. So what I messed up on is I need to do warp, set, and you can set private or public warps. I'll do this one, a public warp, public, and then I'll do test. So I've successfully set that warp. So if I go over here and then type warp test, it will teleport me to warp test. And it's actually a lot quicker than Essentials. It seems to be a more lightweight plugin. I can also do remove. So actually, if I do warp list first, that will list all of the warps and if it's public, public or not. And then I can lastly do warp remove and then test. And then as you can see, it is gone. So that is that plugin. There's also permissions, which I actually didn't get into, but it's pretty self explanatory. Just get a permission plugin like Group Manager or PEX permissions and then you can set it up and give your groups your proper positions you need. This has been a bucket plugin tutorial and a demonstration. 
by Tech Hut. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Tech Hut. I hope you have a great day, and goodbye.